Well, good day, farmers. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, good day, tubes. <laughs> good day, farmers. Welcome back to Farm Sim Saturday. Uh, no, anyways, uh, it's super bright early out here this morning. As you can see, we got a moon over the tree. So today apparently is garage door, new garage door installation day. Uh, I haven't asked the guys that are coming. Oh, I haven't met them yet. Anyways, uh, I think I know which ones it'll be. Um, it'll probably be the one guy that come and did the door seals, and then the other guy that came. Uh, I think he's the owner that came to uh, do the final measurement on the door to, before they ordered it. Right? He want to make sure it fits. So um, today. Super bright and early, but <clears throat> we just had the time change there on uh, the weekend, so messes everything all up. Someone's coming down here nice and early. Holy! That was one of the trail guys. Holy cow! Good thing I got it here at 7 a.m. to open the gate. But anyways, uh, yeah, they're working on the trail. I do want to take his back there sometime and have a look at their progress. They've actually done quite well. Um, they've got um, quite a bit done. They're uh, Sort of, that, that guy there is the guy that's fashioning all of the wood to, um, he's following, he, he says, he follows the guys that throws, or drills the screws into the ground, like through the ice, through, well, they dig the ice out, and then through the ice, and then through the water, and then into, like, four and a half foot of mud, and then they screw that into, like, whatever's below, and these things are like a huge wood screw, they're like a five inch screw, they're just massive, but it just looks like a wood screw, and they just <laughs> drive right in. And um, and they build their bridge stuff off of that. So we'll take a walk down there some night. Um, we take my little light with me, and then we can shine real good. Uh, yeah. But anyways, just waiting for the garage door, guys. I've got to head down in a few minutes and uh, clear out that garage because I really don't want them guys on ladders and swinging around. Um, they're putting new rails and all the stuff on it and I really don't want them swinging around uh, my motorcycle with all that stuff so we're going to have to pull it out and put it probably somewhere up the front here and uh, of course the big tractor out too. And yeah, so anyways, uh, here we go. Well, we better get started by pulling this guy out, nice and warm. <laughs> this fires right up. Uh, blow her up. Better jump on her, I guess. <clears throat> Pull this out, and I got some room to uh, put the bike in there. Goodness to shut her off like that, but uh, anyways, just gotta watch these ice patches because that would suck. I don't want to be wearing the bike. And the only other spot I'm worried about, well, maybe it's not too bad, is right at the door here. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not great. That's not gonna be fun I'm trying to get her out. Uh, maybe it'd be all right. I don't know. There's some grip in this. You're trying to push the bike back, right? But first of all, maybe. Uh, hmm. I was gonna say I could probably jab the loader down, but I don't think it's gonna really do much to that ice. So, anyways, pull this guy out next.
Okay, pull it right up, give these guys lots of room. Now, I know I got a couple of things, the cylinder for the thumb on this guy is underneath the bike, so I'll have to pull him up out of the way. And pull the welder to the very back corner. I think that should be okay. Don't think they'll need to get into there. Look at all this dirt here from the bucket, eh? That's all from the, when the bucket's all frozen and crap. And I uh, come in, of course it thaws it all out and it all falls off on the floor. I gotta clean it up like every couple of days, it sucks. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff. Oh, it's dark in here. Oh, it's dark in here. And let's pull that out of the way for a minute. And generate. Should be probably enough room there. Try not to mess up my back anymore. Mouse trap. bike. Now I think I should be able to wiggle her back and forth and around and uh, out. Oh. guys out there. Just gotta watch the ice patches here. This is gonna be actually really slippery. Coming down through the bush might not be too much fun either. Oh, I'm actually down a gas. Cold on my hand. Ooh, I don't have any gloves. Oh, yes I do. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Oh, uh, they're just pulling out their big forklift guy there. They had a big uh, big trailer coming with a bunch of them screws and stuff. When we get down here, it's clear. They're actually working way, way over there now, past this island. Oh! There you can see the, the walkway there with the sides and stuff on it. And they, uh, they have these metal brace frame things here uh, that's just focusing on the the tree, sorry. These metal braces and those have screws in. What the heck? That was an ATV on tracks. <laughs> uh, then they have those metal screws that go down like five, six feet into the dirt. But uh, anyways, here we go. Well, that guy not gonna be able to get out that way. So I'm gonna have to back up too. Uh-oh. Yeah, that guy in that truck. 
truck should have come this way. Oh well. Oh, I can't wait to get out on this thing. It's so freaking awesome. <laughs> I actually got some uh, upgrades coming too for it. Do a video for the uh, motorcycle channel for that one. Here, what kind of upgrade you'll have to uh, tune into that one if you don't have uh, subscribed to that one yet. I'll if I remember, I'll put a link in. there a few minutes. Oh, warm my hands up a bit. Hey, I'm paying for it out here. I might as well be warming up my hands. Oh, it's really moist. <laughs> but yeah, I got a couple of things coming for this. Uh, should liven her up quite a bit. I've already put the pipes on it, but I've actually, well, I'll give you a clue. I got some air products coming and some fuel products coming. Well, that should uh, should liven her up a little bit. Okay, so the garage door guy's here. I was just cleaning the floor up, vacuuming and stuff, and uh, he um, says it's okay to film him. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna just set up the camera, probably at the back of the shop there somewhere while he's uh, when he's doing it. Hopefully the light doesn't get screwed up, and uh, we'll see what we can film. Should be good. Can 
like gift wrap this more for me. <laughs> and nice and vacuumed and yeah, 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 yeah. Out of the room. And with the door closed, well, that won't last long. It'll stay to be warm in here. A little yeah. bit warm. Well, it's supposed to get up to what? Four degrees today? Yeah, it's supposed to be nice even tomorrow, like six, seven degrees. I can't wait. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just so tired of this winter. Me too. Yeah. Normally I'm a winter guy, but I've had enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got so much cold so fast before the snow. I got like 30 inches of frost out here. Really? So it's pretty brutal trying to take it. Take it and stuff like that. Yeah, everybody said the frost is a lot deeper this year. Yeah. that I work with said six feet. Oh wow. So where are these where are these doors made? These ones? Yeah. Go back. Go back, huh? Yeah. Canadian made, Canadian proud. Yeah, that's good.
Either that or, like, they could be foam, but they're just not much to them. Yeah. And normally you can tell by... These are heavy duty or track two, are they a little bit better? Or? Oh, way better. Way better, that's good. And pretty thin and chintzy. What's that? Pretty thin and chintzy, these ones, eh? It's even a smaller diameter spring than the old one, eh? Yeah, but Change you get that. two this time. Ah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. the weight a lot better. Right, right, that makes sense. Nice. Oh, buddy, I hope you know where all that goes. I do. <laughs> with my eyes closed. That's with your eye. I bet. <laughs> if I 
lot of bits and pieces. Oh, there's all the old junk. Garbage. Garbage. Nice. So you were telling me last time what was the biggest door you've ever installed? 24 feet wide. 24 foot wide by how tall? Uh, 18. Holy crap. This is a 10 by 10 this one. Yeah. So so three of us twice three. that and another, another 8 high. <laughs> Instead of two springs, it had four springs on it. Oh yeah, it'd be a heavy one. Wow. Crazy. Opening up the package. Ooh. Nice. So that is that the actual stuff there? But no, there's a That's wood a end cap, cap on, on there. Oh okay. The, uh, foam from the from, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. When they fill it. Nice. There's actually a hole in the center of the door, right about here, where they inject it in with a nozzle. And then it just all... Oh, yeah. that's cool, eh? Kind of like yeah. the stuff you put around your windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Cool. Better seal between the middle of them, too, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot stronger, in general, compared to the old one. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be driving any hockey pucks into it, though. Well, no. <laughs> no. Maybe the albaco, would it stand up to that? <laughs> I know from experience that they don't. Oh. <laughs> it's already got the seal on the bottom installed. Oh, boy. Nice. Beautiful. I actually hit the gas instead of the brake and went right through it with the blade of his truck. Oh. Yeah, that'll do her. <laughs> Kept me working. Wonder what uh, he was saying after that. Well, Probably you can said just imagine all few the things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I put you out here because of the light coming in. It was kind of messing up the camera, so I'll have to uh, be on the ball though because he's oh, I'll have the door up closed in no time. So. Okay. Closer first, maybe. I did actually have to go to school to get my spraying license for that.
No, you just hear it lose connection, so it'll like stop halfway. Yeah. Well, like I said, they go through hell with us. Yeah. I did do a door last week where I had to take those tech screws that I used for putting on the Up steel plate. There, yeah. And I had to cut through half inch plate steel. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I see they're all pre-dented pre here. Or you just gotta drive them in like, like, yep. like that. No measuring then, that's nice. <laughs> Sometimes you have to. Yeah, yeah. 90% of the time they're pretty good. How many screws you figure that's draw for you, though? <laughs> Still has a lot left if I can get the battery. Yeah, yeah. Must be just a little weird connection inside, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I think about actually wearing out the grooves in it. Oh. That actually connect the battery. Oh, yeah. So now that they're getting bigger, there's more play. Yeah. It's losing connections. Sits. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Give you tons of holes in that bracket too, eh? Oh, it's yeah. like a cheese grater almost. Well, they make it so you can do yeah pretty much any application. Everything you need, yeah. 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 Multi-purpose. Yeah. The bigger the door, the more screws you put in. Right. Be serious. Oh yeah, there's no messing around. <laughs> Sometimes the holes are off, but... Ooh, we get a serial number. Yeah. Hmm. All your warranty issues. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> the cables are way huger than the other one too. Holy cow. Oh yeah. Way better. You don't mess around with these. Mm hmm. Pretty decent. Oh, just for now, I mm -hmm. put something over the one side so mm -hmm. it actually stays level once you get the weight of the rest of them on it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, it. Hmm. That works. Nice. Sweet. Well packaged too, eh? Lots of cardboard. Oh yeah. I want to make sure nothing happens to it, right? Yeah, yeah.
close this down, I guess the other guy could get in from there, right? Yeah. If he does yeah. decide to come. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I left the front doors open there. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to or not. Mm. They just said he might. Yeah. He's in the city, so. Oh. Going up fast, holy cow. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do you ever actually ever get any extra parts on your box? Mostly nuts and bolts. Mm. I keep all those. Yeah, yeah. You never know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Good to have spares, anyways. Hmm. I'm going to have to do a whole, other, a whole other door now. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what people go to when they make stuff. Yeah. Must be a good door. Holy jeez. Just that spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Extra hardened plate in there. <laughs> well, the foam really screws it up, too. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, wow. Well. Once the foam gets on it, it kind of euchres the screw. Mm. Just like that, eh? Holy. What's that? Just like that. So simple on that one. It's such a nightmare. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, half the time they go in easy and then you get that one screw. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Good thing you're a tall guy. Yeah. Much more you'd have to get up on a ladder or something, I guess, eh? Well, at least we got lots of ladders. One, two, I got one. Extension ladder, three, four. <laughs> uh. Ooh, 
time for the top track. Should all mount up to those other braces all right too, eh? Should work. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beauty. I'm pretty sure what came out is the same as what's going in. Yeah, yeah. See, tricks of the trade right there. You already mentioned it. <laughs> Worked good. Hold her up for you. track one on the other side of that bracket is that going to make a problem for you oh no it's fine sorry it. okay there's the spring holder You can dig a hole for you after and bury that uh, drill if you want. <laughs> <laughs> bury it. I'd rather run over it. <laughs> Much more entertaining. the lifter spring.
It's gonna get dark all of a sudden. <laughs> You have to tension each one individually, eh? Ah, oh, clever, clever.
Good workout for the arms. Yeah, <laughs> definitely keeps you on your toes. <laughs> So that was 47 turns? Uh, I did half turns. Half turns. It was 20 halves. 20 plus halves. Plus a little bit. Oh, okay. With standard size drums, you normally do a foot, for every foot of door, you do a full revolution of the spring. Okay. So because it's 10 feet, 10 full turns. Yeah. Wow. At least I calculated that way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't always work that way. Never had a spring break when you started to do that? Almost broke my knuckles. Oh, geez. Really, really long bolts, too.
piece. That looks a lot better. Nice. I don't need much adjustment at all. Well, there we go. All installed, did a fine job. Should make her a lot more better in here. Let me tell you. Got her done pretty quick. It's only oh, 20 to 11. He started at about 8.30ish. Pretty good for by himself. One other guy did show up eventually there, but all he did was kind of adjust the, uh, the outside seals here, and that was sort of about it. So, there we go, new door. Let's just try her again here. Boom, sealed with perfection. Well, He's going down. Buddy forgot his jacket hanging there on the uh, ladder. He actually had her uh, thrown up here on the front of the motorcycle there. So I'm like, oh crap, I didn't get catch him in time. But uh, kind of waiting around, maybe he'd run back, but he's probably totally forgot about it because it's kind of nice out and he's not thinking of a jacket, right? So, um, sweet. That's a lot thicker door than the other one. Holy crap, the other one was like, you know, like this. It's like another half inch thicker, or half, half, whatever you call it, thicker. So that's pretty super awesome. Yeah, should be good. Made in Canada too, eh? Something, something in Canada. Made in Canada. Nice. Oh, it's getting so warm out here. The snow's getting like all softy and stuff. Gonna be melting soon. Maybe not so much today, but Tomorrow the next day when it's like eight, nine degrees. Oh, goodbye snow, mostly. Anyways, so, got Buddy's jacket. Got a good taste in jackets, let me tell you. <laughs> and I'm gonna run it back up to them there. Um, I might take a little tour today. Yeah, hopefully it's still here. <laughs> um, 
there's a tractor dealership. I think I've had you down to her a few times before. And uh, he's got a, a 110 TLB for sale down there. That's a 2010, and it only has 210 hours on it. Which I thought was interesting. So, I might take a little spin down there, have a look at it, see how she's looking. Uh, not saying I'm going to buy it or trade it or nothing, but uh, I just want to see it, you know, have a look. Because it's pretty rare to find a 2010. Oh, it's a 2010. It's five years newer than ours with such low hours on it. 210 hours, that's like, that's not even broke in yet. <laughs> and technically, I guess I better put this on. Hang on. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're good. Uh, technically, that's pretty much only had like two oil changes if they've changed it every 100 hours, which, you know, the first bit, you should change it every 50 hours for the first two, two or three oil changes. So uh, we're going to maybe take a little ride down and have a look. And, uh, better text my wife, tell, him, tell her I'm going first. I'm going to drop Buddy's jacket off, too. Okay, we are here, and I don't exactly know where this thing is going to be sitting, because this is quite a place here. <laughs> I think I've had this here before, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't see it sitting right here. I see something kind of yellowy over there, though. I've been down here a few times on the bike. Just touring, you know, and looking and seeing what's going on. A couple of nice old John Deere tractors here, kind of like, but uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't actually see it sitting over here anywhere. Mm, no. Oh, well, if they haven't already sold it. Hmm. Well. Could possibly maybe already be gone, but you wouldn't think they would have put it on their website. Hmm. Okay, well, um, the tractor actually wasn't here. Um, it was a consignment sale. Uh, I guess these people bought a Kubota. They wanted, uh, apparently, one of these things here, the mini excavators. Little excavators instead of the big tractor. Uh, the place where it was is a water place, and I guess they're trenching water lines and stuff, and it was just too much tractor, he said, for getting in between houses and fences and stuff, so they ended up buying a little excavator of some sorts there. Um, hold on to her. <laughs> a little excavator instead of the big tractor, so uh, I got some pictures of it on my iPhone and a little bit of a video when the guy started it, so I'll put that at the end of today's video here, and uh, you can see her, but pretty much brand freaking new, let me tell you. Uh, 201 hours on it, that's it, in 2010, so pretty rare to find something like that, you know, that's got such low hours on it. Most of them have, you know, upwards of 1,500 hours on them now, minimum. Ours is like 2200, you know, so uh, it's pretty rare. So hopefully uh, we can go for go for that machine, and then uh, maybe we'll just fire sail ours out of the front fence or front gate or something, get rid of her, send her send her down the road. But um, got to kind of keep your you know main 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 machines quite you know somewhat current, right? Well, you know a lot of things. Ours is 10 years old now. Yeah, this one's five years old. Um, but five years old is a lot better than 10 years old, let me tell you, <laughs> when you've had uh, that much uh, work done with it. So, uh, but really, in, in all, say, 2,200 hours on our machine really isn't that much, um, but it's more like the age, right? You know, so it's age versus time is the, the way she goes. So, uh, this one looked pretty good, though. It had, um, I kind of think that they've resprayed the front bucket loader bucket it looked brand new like it was just freshly painted so uh what else was there well you'll see the pictures in the bit of the video at the end it was in buddy's garage so it wasn't sort of the super best uh pictures but i got quite a few pictures of stuff and uh, i can tell by looking at it 
that it hasn't had much use <laughs> digging wise it's pretty much brand new you know it's had basically like a little bit of demo done uh, demonstration done to it and then it's that's it so pretty uh, pretty nice fresh machine I'd say um, you can tell by looking at um, like the backhoe bucket teeth if they were all rounded off and wore down then she's had quite a bit of work you know where my machine I think I've replaced mine like three times on uh, my my backhoe so um, they just cut a lot better when they're sharper instead of you know wore and dull down and it's funny I guess they're they're only cast probably probably hardened a little bit but they do wear down pretty fast especially in the dirt I'm digging in it's all gravelly and sandy you know it just files are down it's like you're hitting it with a constant sandblaster all the time but uh, yeah I'll show you the uh, the video stuff here in the end uh, of it and a couple of pictures I took and we'll go from there but anyways that's probably gonna be it for today ah, hear that oh yeah that was a good one ah freaking neck <laughs> And actually, just today, the back, my back, back there, behind me, has just started to feel a little better. <laughs> oh, man, it's, I hate having back, back pains like that because it takes so long to get fixing itself. So, But anyways, uh, yeah, I'll show you the uh, stuff here, and uh, I'm going to call our day here, I guess. So um, let me know what you think. But anyways, have a good day. Thanks for watching, and I guess we'll catch you tomorrow. I don't really know. I don't think I got any super major plans of anything going on but we'll uh we'll let you know but anyways uh thanks for watching and we'll catch you later Ooh, I really hope the trap door on the back of this truck doesn't open <laughs> it's oozing some kind of real pussy yellowy looking goo out of it I have no idea what's in there if we get stopped here I'll see if I can zoom in on the pus oh brutal <laughs> it's just oozing, oozling out the back here. Oh, the light just turned green. Well, that's pretty nasty. Whatever the frick's in there. Oh, it's dripping all over the road and everything. Oh, nasty.